you want to go to your senior bar movie again thank you so much for joining me in my little corner here on youtube where i share all things skincare makeup or whatever is going on on my mind at that point in time guys so i how was your christmas i trust your christmas was i how was your christmas i'm sure it was wonderful mine was a nice chill laid back relaxing day um the little one loved all her presents from santa and i really wish i really i hope you guys had a wonderful christmas so to so to the video of today as you can see from the title i just wanted to share my favorite makeup items from 2020 i've been seeing tons of these videos out there and i just thought to get on the bandwagon and share some of my own faves from 2020 these are products that i have featured in um on this these are products that i featured on this channel and i've also featured i've also used as well quite often throughout the year so these are my highly recommended favorite faves from 2020 okay and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share okay guys and i'll catch you guys at the other side of the video okay Mwah. okay my darlings let's get started um i haven't so guys let's get started there's nothing on my face whatsoever apart from my moisturizer so let's start with the primer my favorite primer of 2020 will be the elf matte Posse primer i reviewed this um early on this year i prefer this to the and just like i said in my initial review which i'm going to link up here is i prefer this to the initial one because that one left my face feeling extremely oily this is not drying this doesn't dry my face it ensures the, that it's the makeup sits very well on my skin mostly in my skin and i like it a lot I prefer um, guys so you can see i already um set my primer done my brows and use an eyeshadow base for my eye for my eyelids to ensure that the eyeshadows i'm going to be doing today pop so, okay guys to my favorite eyeshadow palette of 2020 i would say i'm torn between the pat mcgrath celestial divinity palette and the divine rose 2 palette um divine rose 2 palette from pat mcgrath i reviewed this on my birthday and i really really like this palette course you guys know what my thoughts are on Pat McGrath you can't beat the quality you can't beat the formula pop the colors pop they shine and they reflect and they are excellent on any skin tone especially mine and I love them um, the Celesta Divinity palette I reviewed this a while ago I can't really show you I really hope I can show you because one of the colors have broken can you see that one of the colors have like gotten all messed up but I'm still gonna play with this so these are my two favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2020. I know these, I know all the videos I've seen for the best makeup of 2020, there's always a, either of these palettes have been featured in, in those videos. Um, my other third favorite is the ABH Amuse palette. It's a fantastic palette. There's something about the formulation that she, that ABH got with this palette as well as the Jackie Aina palette that was released last year. I would say these three, um pat mcgrath and the abh and music palettes are my favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2020 so let's go into so let's get the ball rolling i'm going to create a nice look for today's video all three palettes i'm using all three palettes to create today's look going back to the, the amrizi palette i'm going to shade take the shade bk that's the black shade and just put that in the outer corner. Okay, guys, I'm done with the eyes for now. Let me just go and slip on my lashes and come back with the rest of the video, okay? Don't go anywhere. Ah. So guys, let's let's continue. My lashes are in. I really hope I applied them properly. You guys know I'm still struggling with this. So it's so my favorite foundation of 2020 without any doubt will be the NARS Soft Mask Complete Foundation. This foundation is the business. I've used it several times when I'm running errands and when I've been out for this year. It's a very, very good foundation. It is satin-like, gives me a nice natural feel. It's not drying on my face. It is excellent. Trust me when I tell you this foundation is the best best foundation I've tried for 2020. A close second will be the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. And the third will be my Nagi Cosmetics Foundation as well. I don't have that here because i don't have that here but those three are my favorite foundations of 2020 so let's go i'm gonna apply this now 
So to my concealer, I had too many choices to pick from. I had several, I tried several concealers this year and they were all fantastic. From the El Camo HD Concealer, I also had the um, Nagi, Conceal Nagi Cosmetics Concealer. For this, I would say the Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define Infinite 16 hour wear concealer. The reason being is because this has niacinamide, helps in the appearance of pores, extensive shade range, blends very easily and I really really like this a lot and I think this is my best concealer of 2020. However, there's a caveat with the um, HD e.l.f. concealer, this dries very quickly so you have to blend it very very quickly, okay? I would say for my setting powder it would be without a doubt would be the one be one size translucent setting powder by our boy um by our beauty boy patrick star the reason being because it's so finely milled it doesn't sit on my face it's not dry it's not dry on my face it just nicely just sets my concealer perfectly 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 Okay, so to set my entire face, I am torn between two products. I'm torn between the one size setting powder in dark deep and my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish setting powder. Setting powder. I know this, I'm not sure if this was launched in 2020, but I know this was. But I'm torn between both of them because both of them give me do both of them give me the finish i'm i look for in setting my entire face this gives me that nice um snapchat soft airbrush gorgeous filter finish and this does the same thing but um so this and this just give the finish that i like it sets my face very well it's not dry neither of these are drying but uh, I'll go with the Charlotte Tilbury because of the nice airbrush filter finish that I like. I love actually. So it goes just swirl that around. So guys, for my blush, with hands down, will be my Nagi Cosmetics blushes. These blushes are perfect for women of color and they are perfect on me. So I'm going to use the shade. Plum Princess. So for my lips, haha, I was torn between my Fenty UC Cream lip glosses or my MAC Tiana Taylor collaboration. I think we're gonna go for renewed in today's for today's video. So I'm torn between these two. So I think I'm just gonna go with uh, my Fenty Beauty. I'm honey waffles. Let me use the shade honey waffles. In. Okay, for my high, so for my highlighter, I'm using my house, my house of Petunia Max Tiana Taylor collaboration highlighter. I think this is the best highlighter. I think this is my favorite highlighter for 2020. A close second will be the Revlon Skin Lights um, Prismatic Highlighter. This is the shade um, um, Day Daybreak Glimmer, but ah, ah, it's close, very very close. But I'll say the Mac. Um, highlighter by our girl Tiana Taylor is my favorite for 2020 is my favorite highlighter for 2020 this is the finished look featuring all of my favorite makeup items from 2020 I like every single one of these items and I can assure you they are highly recommended by me because I've used them more than once and I they do what they say they are supposed to do from the primer to the setting powders to the eyeshadow palettes and worth every single buck in my book if you ask me what are your favorites from 2020 i really like to know what your favorites are i'm gonna link titi's video down below where she featured her frame face from 2020 and let's compare notes okay guys um, guys so that's about it guys for today's video um 2020 has been a hard time for all all of us some of us have um some people have lost jobs some people have lost loved ones but i would still encourage you guys to be positive and to be grateful and to be thankful and just be positive and just let's take let's take everything that we learned from 2020 into 2021 grateful happy and most of all be content so because there's anything that i've learned anything we've learned from 2020 and um the movie soul that's on disney plus i watched that yesterday and just gave us or just gave me a reminder of how fragile life is and how we should take every single day 
treat every single day like it's precious every single time every single second like that like it is precious um send prayers and hugs to those who have loved who have lost loved ones those who have lost um their jobs let's just send them send them prayers and just send them thoughts and words of encouragement because all we have are each other all we have in this world is each other so that's about it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting your girl don't forget to like comment share and most of us subscribe and i'll catch you guys sometime next week okay guys Mwah.